Yo, what's going on 2J Gang, man? Welcome back to the channel, guys. I want to thank you all so much, man. The channel is finally growing. We're getting some traction, and I want y'all to keep that momentum going, man. So before we get into this video, man, I want you guys to go ahead and slap that like button, and I want y'all to go ahead to subscribe, 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 gang. But with all that being said, man, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can take your Aceta Corsa from looking like this poopoo -poo over here and make it look awesome and nice as all these ones right here man okay i'm gonna show you guys how to take your set of course man and make it have the best graphics possible with all that being said man let's go ahead and dive into this video all right everyone so first things first you want to download content manager okay now it's not necessary to actually play the game you can control things in the regular set of course the interface but it's so much easier to use content manager because everything is right out there laid out for you nice interface so so user friendly man i highly recommend that you guys get content manager but you're going to want to download content manager and you're going to install it to your desktop now that's what i did because it makes it so much easier to just click on content manager that's right here and then you connect it to your set of course of directory which your set of course of directory of course is going to look something like this let me show you guys your set of course of directory is going to look something like this your hard drive or your solid state drive followed by steam steam apps common and then a set of corsa so yeah you're going to want to download it straight there and you're going to want to keep this window open because you're going to be doing a lot of things with this directory okay the next thing you want to do is you want to download custom shaders patch okay you want to download custom shaders patch you want to extract that and then you want to drag all the files that come from this instruction you're going to take it and you're going to drop it right here directly in your set of corsa directory of course and that will actually show up here as long as you do it right it will be right here under custom shaders patch followed by that is you want to install soul now soul is definitely important all right it's really important to make everything come together as far as weather all that stuff i recommend you get soul 2.0.2 .2 or higher and you're gonna take that you're gonna want to extract that and you're gonna also put that right here in your set of course of directory i made a separate folder on my desktop page right here that i will show you guys and in my desktop i have ac mods here here i saved my soul 2.1 alpha i saved the srs which we'll get into that that that's a that's a story for another day that's actually for um online i saved my reshade filter and i also saved my immersive filter which you also are going to want to download that that's our next step and i will link everything in the description just so you guys know the uh, websites that you guys need all these things on will be in the description but you want to go here you want to download the immersive filter again you want to extract that and then you want to slide that right into your set of course of directory okay all right now after you guys do that the fun really begins and if you guys have any problems please put down in the comments below if anything that i miss so i can be sure to touch on that in the next video i promise okay without further ado let's go ahead and dive into our content manager so i can show you guys how to really pull everything together and to give you that beautiful beautiful image that you guys want all right guys so now we're in our content manager okay now in content manager there's a couple things that you really want to do now custom shaders patch of course is probably going to be the first thing that you want to do you want to make sure that you go here to the about and the updates and you want to make sure that you select at least the highest available version the highest number is the best update is the best updated version regardless if it says untested you guys want to use it okay i promise you you want to use this version right here 0.1.74 i can reinstall the current version just so you guys can see how that goes but yep boom boom and wham bam thank you ma'am you're good right i'm gonna touch on anything that is super like that is highly recommended i will touch on those but right now this is where my settings are at most of these things are stock like uh, i don't really change the uh settings too too much on most of the tabs okay i'm not gonna say all of them but most of them this chaser cam you're definitely want to activate this yes it makes it so much better the chaser cam is way better if you activate it here you're going to want to activate this yes yes indeed yes indeed extra effects you're definitely going to want to activate the extension you're going to want to change this to high you're going to want to activate the ambient 
you're gonna keep i kept it at 60 i believe it, the original opus was down to like 20 or something like that but i upped it to 60 percent and then down here too the light bounce the simple light bounce you're going to activate that as well and then if you want to i save my preset my preset says bet so you know bet <laughs> graphic adjustments now here we definitely adjust it okay our post processing anti-aliasing oh yeah we got to ultra that out you got to ultra that out other than that it's pretty straightforward grass effects quality mines of course very high lighting effects brightness 200 percent all the way up brightness all the way up dynamic shadows activate please full resolution you really want full resolution Ooh, high quality headlight shadows oh yeah let's activate that <laughs> you know neck effects yes you want to add you want to activate this please please activate the neck effects particle effects yes 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 extra heating 30 percent new flames yes activate the new flames they are insane they are nice i love them fireworks now you can activate this if you want to i do because i mean you know it's always nice man had the fireworks you know what i'm saying and then bits of tires laying around that's realistic okay that's gonna happen you gotta activate that man you gotta activate that rain effects always active of course weather effects yes you want the script to be soul weather effects script you want that soul you want that soul <laughs> this word i'm not even gonna what yeah beast <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's hilarious so let's go ahead and move on to our set of corsa and a set of corsa of course you want to see you want to see the apps that are all checked okay please make sure especially soul config you want to make sure that is checked all right and after you guys run through that and make sure that your custom shader dispatch is all up to speed you can now dive into the game and you will have these crazy filters now let me show you guys exactly how it's done all right, everyone. So we're loaded in our game here, as you can see. Nice, nice gravy S13 here. Oh, gravy garage. So nice, so nice. And I will be featuring them in a video very, very, very soon. But look at this, okay? Look at it. You can just tell the difference between this and the original Assetto Corsa. Now, you wanna go to the all apps and then you want to go right here the post process filter right now in here of course you're going to see all your filters you can actually take down the exposure i normally keep it at about 129 you know what i'm saying around 125 ish and then you go ahead and pop back zoom in a little bit open up your photo mode and bow talk about a nice shot man talk about a nice shot Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want y'all to go ahead and slap that like button again. And please, please subscribe, guys. Man, I want to thank every, each and one of you guys who are viewing my videos. Everybody who's following me on Instagram, Twitch, all that, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And stay groovy out there, man. Stay sideways. I will see y'all out there. All right. Peace.